All right, in this lesson, we will continue to practice doing conditional probability with tables. Again, conditional probability is where you're looking for the probability, but first you're given some extra information to narrow down your universe to a smaller set. Um, for example, a faculty advisor at Ridge High School surveyed 100 students about their preference for a social event. Of the 100 students surveyed, 50 were 10th graders and 50 were 11th graders. So let's go ahead and organize this information into a chart. 50 were 10th graders. Okay, um, I guess we will, I'm going to record the totals on the outside. So 50 were 10th graders and 50 were 11th graders. Okay, these are totals out here. Um, what else did they say? All right. Of the 10th graders, 30 chose bowling party and 20 chose a dance. Okay, so of the 10th graders, 30 chose bowling and 20 chose a dance. Okay, of the 11th graders, 20 chose a bowling party and 30 chose a dance. Okay, so make a two-way frequency table, so that's what we're doing right here. Blah, blah, blah. Um, Okay, so we made the frequency table. Now, for number two, let's go ahead and find the probability of B. Okay, that means simply the probability that if you randomly pick one of these um, 100 students, um, the probability that um, you'll be looking at someone who likes bowling. All right, of course, probability is target over total. And uh, there's nothing limiting our sample space, so we're dealing with a total of 100 students. Okay, um, the ones that like bowling, well, that's 30 and 20, that's 50. So 50 out of 100 students like bowling. So, um, of course, uh, that reduces to 1 half, which equals 0 0.5, which equals 50 percent. All right, so this would be the probability of picking someone who wants um, a bowling party if you randomly pick a student from among the hundred. Okay, now notice the difference between number two and number three. We're still asking for the probability of um, picking someone who wants a bowling party. All right, that's the B. But, um, and maybe I should write this out in words, but if we write this out in words, it means, um, all right, so I'm showing you two different ways here. So this is the most compact form with just single letters, but expanding it slightly, probability of bowling given 10th grader. All right, writing it out a sentence, it means find the probability that someone wants a bowling party given that they are a 10th grader, okay? Um, now, it's all about the given. Um, whatever it is that you're given, given that they are a 10th grader, um, that's the part of the chart that you're gonna look at. So we're given that they are a 10th grader, so we're gonna focus right here. Now, everything else in the chart we can forget about and uh, I encourage you just to just plain cancel it out okay so we can forget about the 11th graders so as we answer the question now that we're given that they are a 10th grader we're gonna stick to this row so um, we're supposed to calculate that probability uh, part probability as always is a target over total um, so the probability of picking somebody who wants bowling, given that they are a 10th grader, 
Okay, um, the target is bowling. Okay, so that's uh, 30. Out of a total, okay, we are not going to do 100 because that included 11th graders, but now we're given that it's 10th graders, so um, the total there is 50. So 30 out of 50. Okay, so you can easily see that that's going to reduce to 3 fifths, um, which I happen to know is 0 0.6, which is 60%. So this would be the answer. Okay, so you can see that that's very different than the probability. When we just asked what's the probability in general, um, we got 50%. But if we said what's the probability given that we're dealing with 10th graders, um, then it's become 60%. So do you think that the probability of liking bowling is dependent on whether students in the 10th or 11th grade? Well, obviously, the, um, you know, the probability is going to be different um, because um, it, of the 10th graders, 30, you know, 30 out of 50 of them wanted bowling, but 11th graders, only 20 out of 50. So clearly, there there will be a higher probability um, if you are picking from among 10th graders, and a lower probability. Uh, for people who wanted bowling among 11th graders. So, so yes. So I'm going to write it out formally using our notation um, saying yes, it matters. Um, it is dependent but because as we saw up here, the probability of picking uh, someone who wants bowling given that we're dealing with 10th graders was 3 fifths. Um, whereas the probability of picking someone who wants bowling, given that we're dealing with 11th graders, would only be two-fifths. And of course, I got that right here. 20 out of 50 is two-fifths. All right, this was a very short lesson, so um, that's the end. I hope it was helpful.